Hello guys, this is Chetan Verma and you are watching my YouTube channel CSP Institute. So today's topic is sets. A set is an unordered collection of elements much like a set in mathematics. So what is set? This is unordered, unordered uh, collection of elements. Okay. So here no particular sequence suppose in list and in tuple you can see the sequence were there if we have stored anything inside there there so it it forms a kind of uh, index value for that every uh, index value associated with some value okay some element but in a set such kind of thing is not entertained. So the order of elements in uh, is not maintained in the set here order is not maintained is not maintained one thing is there it means the elements may not appear in the same order as they are entered into this set moreover a set does not accept duplicate elements this is also there such like uh, such as suppose maybe you have heard uh, about set uh, theorem and uh, set uh, chapters in 10th class so suppose a is equal to 1 2 3 this is a subset of uh, s and b is another set 2 3 4 and now we want to do union of this so union of this will store will not store uh, duplicacy so it will store only one two three four okay because duplicacy is not allowed in set so i hope you have understood here what is set it is same as mathematics set no difference moreover a set does not accept duplicate uh, elements as i told you there are two types of sets uh, one is set data type set data type and another is frozen set data type we'll talk one by one both of these okay so instead of talking let's do some programming first i just want to tell you how to declare the variable of set suppose i want to declare any variable of set suppose s is variable uh, and i want to declare this should be a type of set so one is curly braces okay and another one is s equals to the name of class enclosed by the parenthesis okay so both of these methods are useful to uh, declare any variable of object uh, any object of class set okay so let us see s equal to curly braces one method is this and s1 equal to set okay print its type okay so type s and s1 control plus s terminal open the terminal and now uh, sorry this is our last program let me open one more this is set dot pi the program file name is set dot pi so here uh, sorry one thing i done mistake as control plus c v s1 so now you can check here oh sorry should be in curly braces so here it is showing dictionary uh, it should not be dictionary actually dictionary is also printed like this so now it will show you what i want okay so here you can see that dictionary is also declared by the curly braces so this is not right method uh, to do so so instead of that we can use the alternate method of uh, declaring the very object of class set so this can be s s1 equals to set enclosed by the parenthesis okay so this method is more useful instead of this because there some confusion is there because if i will not include this one 
so by default uh, python will understand this is type dictionary it is dictionary we, i'll talk in my next video what is dictionary but here you avoid it or either you can write one variable inside here okay so so if we have included any uh, value inside this uh, curly braces so it will automatically understand it is uh, an object of class set so i hope you have understood till here let me do some more programming suppose s equal to 10 20 30 20 and 50 so here you can see here we have duplicacy but as we know it is not uh, allowed it is not allowed inside the set so let's print it it will cover only first value not uh, second 20 very first 20 it will cover let us check so here 10 20 50 30 what was the value 10 20 30 20 50 duplicacy of 20 were there but as we printed as by default it has been uh, second 20 has been uh, eliminated by the program uh, python itself python compiler itself okay so here you can see this is uh, a variable s set inside integer are there okay so please observe that the set s is not maintaining the order of elements order of elements is it is not being up so let me do one more time so order is not maintained here see 50 comes first 30 comes second time so order is not maintained if we uh, if you will observe in list and uh, tuple their order is maintained but here order is not maintained but it is showing another order we enter the elements in the order of 10 20 30 20 and 50 but here it is showing another order also we repeated the uh, element 20 in the set but it has stored only 120 we can use the set function to create a set as as i told you we can do so so set also we can do so so instead of that i can also use suppose set and i i i'm just converting it into a set hello hello is a string and i want to convert it into a set so i just do it and now you can see e o h l l is duplicate value two l are there but it has covered only one l and now you can check here see here e o h l when i printed one more time the order has changed h e o l and if i will do one more time compilation so it has again changed the order because this is unordered collection of element okay so like that we can convert it and uh, if we have list also l equals to list we know how to declare list 20 30 40 so uh, i have repeated 40 twice in list and if i want to print list so it allows duplicacy it, uh, it it doesn't have any problem of duplicacy but in the set we have problem of duplicacy so suppose i would just want to convert it into uh, set this particular object into set so i just no need to do anything i just uh, put set function here and uh, easily i can convert it okay so let's check it out how does it work so here you can see list allows uh, does not have any problem of duplicacy so it prints 10 20 30 40 uh, 40 as we have given value inside that like that only but here ordered this is unordered set of uh, um, collections of variables so it is showing 40 10 20 30 and it is not included 40 also duplicacy is not included here so because there is no order so slicing or indexing is not possible inside here if i want to print any first variable s 
using indexing so it will show you error because say set object is not subscriptable so indexing is not uh, entertained here okay and <clears throat> we have two functions associated with set what those are suppose uh, let me do from here only if i want to modify windows make one more program for you s equal to curly braces 10 20 and 30 so modification can be done here okay so if i want to update uh, update this and i want to append two more value here so i can easily append here update method is used to add elements to a set suppose uh, update is associated with this uh, s only so if i want to update it this is method associated with the set so i want to add 50 or uh, 40 okay so i can easily update it and i if i will print s now so it will show you 10 20 30 40 50 let's check it out Oh, sorry uh, it is showing us error uh, because we need to pass it into square braces okay so this is also important part here so 40 30, uh, 10 50 20 and 30 so like that now you can check it uh, check here we have updated uh, updated our previous uh, set so previous set was 10 20 30 and we have updated it so 50 and um, 40 is appended with our previous set okay and if we want uh, to remove 50 from this set and suppose i want to remove uh, 10 from here so what i will do one more method remove uh, is associated with set remove 10 if i do this so here no need of a square bracket in that i will tell you ki why square bracket is required there why in remove square bracket is not required i'll tell you in depth okay then we'll talk, when we will talk about these kind of things in our upcoming videos so there i will tell you more about it okay so here we can check 10 is removed from here okay print s after removal print s okay control s more uh, terminal here you can check 40 10 50 20 30 this is after updation okay after appending 50 and 40 but after removal 10 40 50 20 10 10 uh, 30 10 is not here so i hope you have understood here up to here and this is type set now we have another type frozen uh, data type what is frozen data type we have another data type of uh, this set only frozen data type so by name itself frozen data type is same as the same uh, set data type frozen set data type okay the main difference is that the element in the set data type can be modified whereas the elements of frozen uh, set cannot be modified we can create a frozen set by passing a set to frozen set function as we have frozen set function here so with the help of this we can easily convert it if i want to convert this s into a frozen set frozen set so now I cannot use update and remove function here. So because S is converted here in uh, frozen set. So now this six line will show you error. How it will show you error? Let's check it out. See frozen set object no attribute remove. So no kind of there is no modification is entertained here. Okay. So I hope you have understood till here if you have any doubt regarding this you can do comment okay let me show you how to print also this frozen uh, set
if I do print, this is same as set. So it will show you this like this frozen set. The main difference is when you will print it. So here no specification. This is set and this is frozen set but in frozen set while we are printing frozen set so before this it will show you this is frozen set because we have converted this particular s into frozen set by using frozen set function okay so we have passed s as an argument and it will return you the frozen set uh, type of this particular uh, object okay so i hope you have understood till here Maybe you don't have any doubt. If you have any doubt regarding this, you do comment. Thank you and have a good day.